Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're taking a look at a new release from Modern Times. This is Melt Remarkable. This is Modern Times first ever lager. So like a lot of Modern Times beers, they give you all the specs on there. Uh, hops are Helga and Ella. Malts are Pilsner and Carapils. Uh, 55 IBUs. Final gravity is 1006. So nice and dry. 5.5%. And uh, uh, but yeah, first ever lager and, and Helga hops is, is a hop we used in the stone version of our, our coconut IPA and I haven't seen a lot of beers use it so I'll be curious to see how that plays with Ella which I'm not familiar with at all. But I got it poured out, it's very clear, they likely, I don't know if they filtered it, if not they did a really good uh, job finding it. Uh, lots of carbonation which you'd like to see, uh, bright white head, so yeah it looks like a great lager, let's get the nose on it. Yeah, it smells like a, a lager. Um, definitely has a, a unique uh, hop character to it. It's a, it's a little bit different. It has a, a spiciness, definitely. But there's like this fruitiness underneath the spiciness. I'm trying to pinpoint some uh, some aromas in there. But um, definitely getting that Pilsner malt character. Very floral, though. Just... Um, yeah, that's what it is. It's like a fruity, floral, uh, spicy thing going on uh, on the aroma. And uh, I know Helga has a little bit of fruitiness, and that's why we wanted to use it in R&R &R Coconut IPA. And, uh, but um, both hops are, uh, are German, I believe, in origin, some of the newer German hops. Hmm. Yeah, sorry, not pinpointing anything, but it smells pretty good. Uh, definitely different from, say, like a Czech or German style Pilsner, but still has some of those characteristics. So let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah, very dry, uh, drinkable. The finish has um, a real, um, I guess that's that Carapils coming through. Um, it doesn't have that typical lager malt character. I mean, it's there, but it also has like the just big like biscuit character, uh, dry biscuity finish. Um, hops are up front, some malt sweetness in the middle. The beer falls in the nose pretty well. Uh, definitely getting the spicy character. Um, getting that fruitiness underneath that kind of mixes with the sweet Pilsner malt character. Um, yeah, it's very floral, very, very floral. Even though there's some carapils in there, um, the finishing at 10.06, it's pretty dry. I would maybe like just a little bit more, touch more malt sweetness to the beer. And that could be adjusted, you know, mash temperature or something like that. But uh, that being said, uh, as is, it's very clean and very drinkable, not getting any like sulfur notes or um, anything like that. So it does make it pretty crushable. Uh, you just wish there was a little bit more body to it, I guess. but. It, I don't know. It's that balance between high drinkability and maybe a little loss of body, and sometimes finding the in between is uh, hard to do, um, especially when they're first attempt at brewing a lager. So uh, I dig it though. Um, definitely has traditional German size uh, hop characteristics, but they're a little different. There's that fruitiness in there that you don't normally get with, uh, like, say, a Saz or a Hallertau. And so you have that little twist to it. Um, to go along with the spiciness and huge floral character and uh, so yeah it's a, it's a cool beer um, you know good well normal San Diego spring day this would be great it's raining today but um, yeah this is a beer that uh, it's gonna be lit it's one of their their next limited uh, release beer that I think they'll probably do a few runs of in bottles and then they'll move on to their their next one their the series of uh, bomber releases that they're doing this year. So let's go wrap this one up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.